gives me great pleasure that the university has been receptive and adapted to information and communications technologies. It being one of the first universities to host a campus radio station, connect to fiber optics, and ensure the sanity of communications tower installations. For the School of Distance Learning, adopting ICTs to reach everyone is inevitable in this post-COVID era of blended education. With ICT as the catalyst, various sectors of the economy are being transformed to create richer, stronger, more developed and inclusive economies. And recognizing that ICT is a critical tool to hasten socioeconomic development and formalize the economy. The government of Ghana embarked on massive reforms in the educational and ICT sectors as part of our ambitious transformation agenda. And these were deliberate um, policy interventions that were taken since we took office in January 2017. So I'm delighted to inform you that under a partnership with the Smart Africa Digital Academy, 20 trainers have been trained for artificial intelligence and another 20 trained for cybersecurity with IT professionals from ministries, departments, agencies, local government, and academia. These 40 TOTs combine to build capacity in government and academia to promote resilience in using AI. This morning, and I hope they've already started, they are also waiting for me. Um, Kofi Annan ICT Center of Excellence is it's launching a restart program in partnership with the Smart Africa Digital Academy and the World Bank to train 10,000 youth in cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and cybersecurity as we work to build our capacity to manage our own digital infrastructure. Thank you.